Good morning, everyone. It is Wednesday, April 28th, and it is time for daily devotion. Uh, I am going to read a couple of verses out of one of the more important chapters uh, of any book in the Bible, at least in my faith. And this one is both awesome and challenging at the same time. There's, I tend to like that. Um, it shows me uh, where God is, and then it encourages me to, to grow. And uh, I'm a big fan of both of those. So it is 1 John 4, 19 through 21. We, we love because Christ first loved us. Whoever claims to love God yet hates their brother or sister is a liar. For whoever does not love their brother and sister whom they have seen cannot love God whom they have not seen. And he has given us this command. Anyone who loves God must also love their brother and sister. Uh, that first part of it uh, is uh, he, we love because Christ first loved us. That's the part of these verses that that is transformative in my faith um it is one of my three verses in scripture that my my faith is truly built on uh, because it really ramps up this idea that that we are loved and that is the only reason that we can go out and love others uh, that christ loved us first and then we can love God and we can love our brothers and sisters. A few verses before that, it goes into a little bit more detail on it. But that is a powerful statement. Um, it means when we love anyone, even if it's our parents or children or siblings or spouse or whomever, um, it's not because of us. It's not even really because of them. It's because of God. And that puts God at the center point of every relationship where there is love. So I love it. I love it. Like I said, it is it is one of those verses to me that has made has impacts everything else in the scriptures I read. But the second part of it, the part that goes on a little longer is the part that is challenging. And John really balances the, or or contrasts love and hate. Love is from God. Hate is against God. You can't love God and hate people. And this is challenging. There is hate everywhere in this world. Uh, there is um, us against them everywhere. There is racism, there is sexism, there is bigotry against people who are gay. Uh, there are hate between biological family over money or slights. Uh, there is hate in churches because people want the church to be different things. Um, there, there's hate everywhere. And there's especially hate in our political system because our politicians have realized that if you can get people to hate the people who you hate, then you can have power. It is much easier to get, get someone to hate another than it is to love you. So they get you to hate. So that way they can have power over you. Hate's everywhere. But that's the opposite of God. That hate, hating our brothers and sisters, which is everyone, everyone of the every, everyone who on is on earth is our brother and sister. There is no that are not. I don't care if they're different face. I don't care if they have different beliefs. I don't care if their lifestyles are 100% different. I don't care if they look 100% different than us. We are all God's children, and so we are all brothers and sisters in Christ. And if we hate a single one of them, 
then according to John, we don't love God. I would love to sit here and say there's no one on this earth that I don't hate. I don't think I can say that. There are people who I have seen that have done so much destruction, so much hurt, have caused so much division that I have no good thoughts about them. They tend to be people I don't know, so there is that. Uh, I can't think of a single person that I actually know that I would say I hate, although there may be some, and I just can't think of them. Uh, the people that I would say I probably border on hate, and that's probably trying for me just to not be able to confess my true sin. You know, they, they tend to be the big people who really do cause a very large part of our nation or our world's problems. Um, and so then do I have to ask myself if, if I can't honestly say that I don't hate them, am I truly loving God? And that's the challenge. That's that challenge I was talking about at the very beginning. And it's a good one. Because it shows me that, well, first of all, it shows me I may not be the loving person that, that, that I really think I am. Uh, and it shows me that I have a whole lot of room for growth. I want to love all my brothers and sisters. Actually, that's not really true. I don't. There are a lot of people I'm very happy to hate. But that's not right. I want to want to love all my brothers and sisters. I want to love God so fully that I love all of the people God created. That doesn't mean I wouldn't stand against those who cause hate and division. It just means that I don't join them in that hate and division. This is a place where I need to grow, and I have a feeling it's a place where we all need to grow. <laughs> I've seen your Facebook posts, many of you. I know that you have room for growth, too. <laughs> You're right there with me. Um, and God wants us to do that growth. God wants us to every day grow in our love of God. And, there's, and that means we grow in our love for all of our brothers and sisters. And all we can do is pray for God for that help and that strength. Pray to God for that desire. And try. Even when we don't want to. Try to love those who we hate. Let's pray. Holy Lord, I thank you that you are love and that you are the center of every person, every relationship that we love. Thank you for scripture like this also that challenges us, that says we are not perfect yet. And our love for you is also not perfect yet. Help us to grow. Help us to put hate behind us and love all of our brothers and sisters, even the ones we want to keep hating. Show us how to love. Show us how to care. Amen.